Hello YouTube, it's Mason Sushi here, and sorry again, it's been a long time, I feel like every time I talk to you I'm uh, making excuses, but, you know, two kids and job is hard for me to get out, so I'm almost on a once a month, um, kind of posting here, so I want to apologize about that, but, um, what I want to talk to you about today is playing, uh, well, before I even talk about that, I want to just, uh, mention, I've been talking to my friends about, you know, different kind of games and, you know, importing scene and everything, and there's tons of YouTube videos online on how to play your Japanese, um, 64 games on your, um, you know, your U.S. system. It just won't go down. Um, it seems like a popular idea to, uh, remove these, uh, tabs. You can see kind of right back there in that corner. Um... To, that's the security. So what happens is you can you know go in there, cut them out, and have uh, or remove the tray. So you know you have you know this is the American, and this is the Japanese game here. So you can see how that works. You know they have the tab in the corner which fits here. The American one has it here, so it hits this part, and you're not able to play your game. So you know the U.S. game just sits in, good to go, and you know this a little crappy sports title, but um. So that that forms a problem. So like I said, people, the more popular thing to do, and you can find tons of videos on how to do that. Um, but I don't really like hacking up my systems. Well, at least my 64s. I have cut the tabs out of my Super. And even then, I don't really like it. Um, and then you have another alternative. Um, you know, the uh, adapter here. And you can stick it in. And you can see here, it just has a straight, car, uh, straight crossbar. So it can fit in either the, um, in, uh, the Japanese or the American in 64 you know it sits in there and then you could take your Japanese game and just plug it in you're good to go bang that's the next alternative but these things can be like you know anywhere from 10 to 30 dollars uh, yeah last time I checked I don't know if they're a lot cheaper now but um they can be kind of expensive I didn't even pay for this I had a friend of mine um give this to me because he had a couple import 64 sold off the games and gave me the adapter so I have that but what I like to do and um, I think it looks nicer and it's better, is, you know, a lot of people totally forget that all these games are interchangeable. So, for instance, I'll take, you know, this is um, my Sin and Punishment here. And I go in and I'll remove my screws. And then I get a little crappy, shitty sports title like this that, you know, you can find for like a buck or 50 cents somewhere. Um, even if the label back is damaged, I'm not, at this point I'm wanting to play, not so much col collect it. So what I do is I go in here and I remove my, uh, Japanese back. And then what I do is I take that, um, the back off of the American sports title that's super cheap, put it on, and then I, you know, insert my screws again, and there you go. I don't understand everyone freaking out of having to cut their system you know, or buying expensive little adapter pieces when it's literally nothing more than purchasing a dollar back off this and then replacing it. Or even if, you know, you don't want to purchase a game like this and just replace it. You know, even if you're just playing this game for a period of time, just, you know, un have the game bit, you know, un unscrew, unscrew it, use it for, you know, a few weeks that you're going to play it. And then when you're tired of it, want to stick it back on the shelf, you know... Stick your Japanese back back on it, you know, for collectability purposes, stick it on your shelf, and it's good to go for the future. Me, I just, you know, get a whole bunch of crappy sports titles, so I just stole the back off. I keep this back, so if I ever one day want to trade it or what have you, I have it to put back on. But, um, yeah, that's how I play it. I just swap backs with another crappy sports title, and I can play my imports. So, uh, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys if you were thinking about getting into the import scene on the 64. Um, uh, and, you know, have fun. Game on. Later.